Guys, I have a really big news. This is going to be huge. Even though bad things are happening, good things can also happen and good things can continue to happen. Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Leora Alexandra. Welcome to the baby elephant community on this channel. We talk about the law of attraction, spirituality, self-development, and so much more. And today is Monday and Manifestation Mondays are back. So on certain Mondays, I like to share law of attraction success stories with you guys so that we can all raise our vibration for the coming week and weeks and months ahead because God knows we could all use some good news right now. So today I'm going to share some success stories that were submitted to me from our community and I encourage you to hit the comments below and tell me some good news tell me something that has manifested something positive that has happened in your life just tell me something good by doing this you align to the frequency of expecting good receiving good and giving good and you're doing this with hundreds of other people maybe thousands of other people hopefully who will all convene in the comments below and offer their energy and together we manifest more good things manifesting and happening for us. So let's get into the law of attraction success stories and don't forget that at the end of this video we will do a manifesting exercise together. I'll play for you my sound bowls and we will manifest something together. That's the new format of Manifestation Mondays. So that's where we're at today. Let's do it. So first, I want to share Gabby's story. So Gabby studied arts history and she really wanted to find a job after college, but she couldn't for over a year. Despite her repeated rejections and failure, Gabby decided to use her skills and to start taking pictures around town as a hobby because she really loved to do that. So one day as she was doing this, a woman came up to Gabby while she was doing her thing and they started to chat. And they talked about all sorts of different things. And one of the things they started to talk about was art. This woman ended up offering Gabby an internship to a local museum. And she's doing it and she's super excited about it. So rather than focusing on her past failure, Gabby focused on what she's passionate about. She focused on what she wanted to do. And just like that, the universe put the right resources right in front of her, right in her path. That's what happens when we release control and when we don't focus on past rejections and failures and instead tap into flow. Flow is the most powerful manifestation tool in the universe because you forget everything and you just focus on what makes you feel alive, what makes you feel blissful and joyful. All it requires is for us to focus on doing what we love to do and the universe then showers us with blessings, showers us with miracles and opportunities, events and the right people and the right things. Our next story is submitted by Brenda. Brenda loves to travel. She's never traveled alone and she um, ended a four year relationship. So she started her self love journey. And as she started this journey, she decided that it's time for her to take a trip alone. And she's always wanted to do that. So she fantasized about traveling to, I never knew how to say the name of this place. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna try. She fantasized about traveling to Uruguay. She made vision boards, she scripted about how amazing her trip was, so she wrote about her trip as if it had already happened and talked about all the memories she made, things like that. And then she wrote with chalk on a little blackboard, uh, Uruguay awaits you, which I love that technique. She put it on the front of her desk so she could see it every day. So as she was doing this, the money that came in that month came in abundantly and fast. She felt grateful for every penny as she received it. She ended up reaching her goal and more in a month and a half of work, which was much easier than she expected. She actually thought that she would have to manifest more money in order to be able to afford the trip. And she ended up being able to do it in a month and a half. So Brenda ended up going on her trip and it was the most amazing experience and she had an amazing time and she's starting to plan her next travel destination, which hopefully she'll be able to do it soon while I'll be back out in the world, we'll see. And our last success story of today is submitted by Susie. So Susie has been doing theater for four years and she didn't feel like she was really growing or improving much because she was never featured in anything more than a little skit. So she noticed that all her friends were getting solos and they were getting lead roles and she wasn't even being featured in the shows at all. So rather than letting this get to her, what Susie decided to do is to start giving gratitude, expressing gratitude for the things that she wanted to manifest. So every day on her way to school, she started to say things like, thank you so much universe for my solo in the show this year. 
After a couple weeks of doing this, her teacher called her over and told her she got her solo. She was so excited and it solidified her faith in the law of attraction. All these stories made me so happy and I think that there's a common theme of truly going for what you want, for what sets your soul on fire and not second guessing yourself, not letting anything get in your way and knowing that it's going to be yours, giving gratitude for things as if they have already happened. Those stories made me really happy. Thank you to the beautiful ladies who submitted them. It was such a vibration raiser. And if you guys have your own stories, please leave them below. And let's start our manifesting exercise. Last Manifestation Monday, I asked you to let go of something and give it to the universe. Forget about it and let go, give it to the universe. If that thing has been worked out, let me know below as well. But for today, decide on something that you want right now. It could be something that you've wanted for a very long time, or it could be something that you come up with right now. It could be big or it could be small. It could be material or immaterial. No matter what it is, bring it to the forefront of your mind now. The first step is I'd like you to accept that you want this thing. There's a reason that you want it. And while that reason doesn't matter much now, it really doesn't matter at all. Just accepting that this is something that you want is good enough because you came here to this physical reality with desires and dreams and goals. You wanted things and you have the capability of wanting things and wanting things makes you feel good, right? And getting those things feels good. Wanting things is perfectly fine. So right now, accept that you want this thing and tell yourself it's okay that you want it. Be okay with that desire. Accept yourself exactly how you are, desires, dreams and all. Close your eyes. I want you to think of the statement, I want blank. And in that blank, of course, insert what you brought to the forefront of your mind that you decided that you want. So it could be, I want that job, be very specific, or I want happiness, or I want success, I want a relationship, I want to be stronger, I want health. I want to be able to help people. I want whatever it is that you want. I want a cup of coffee. I want a puppy. I want a new car. Whatever it is that you want. I want world peace. I want happiness. I want to be able to travel. I want to take that vacation. And think of that statement. And close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. And I want you to drop the word want. And now all that's left in this reality is you and this other thing that you want. And now we're going to drop the I because there is no separation between you and this other thing. You are everything in the universe. And in that reasoning, you are this thing that you desire. You are that cup of coffee. You are that relationship. You are that car. You are that job. You are that opportunity. You are the same as all of it. You are made of the same essence. Embody this thing, become this thing. You are this thing and so it is by nature yours already. And pay attention to what emotions come up as you're thinking about it. How are you feeling? Are you feeling relieved, loved, accepted, grateful? Are you feeling happy? What I want you to do is to just focus on feeling those emotions now. So now you drop the subject completely and all that's left is its very essence. How it makes you Feel. And you're going to focus on those emotions and what those feelings are as I play a couple of minutes with my crystal bowls and we solidify our desires and the things that are very essence, these emotions, these things that we want through deep relaxation and acceptance and letting that be there. And the entire time that I play for you, I want you to focus on feeling those emotions that you feel because you already have this thing that you want. And in this way, we're calling these emotions that are related to this subject into the physical world from the higher realms, from the higher dimensions. And we're accepting that it already exists and that it's already ours. And we are releasing all our doubts, all our anxieties, all pain, all fear that surround this object. We release it now.
And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Thank you once again for manifesting with me. Please make sure to let me know in the comments below something good. If what you asked for in the last manifestation Monday uh, did come into fruition, I want to hear about that. If not, it's still on its way over to you in divine timing. Thank you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. I really appreciate it. Let me know if your notifications are turned on for this channel because I'm trying to get that number higher so that more of you are notified when I go live and when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Until next time, keep your vibrations way, way, way up.